Italian alphabet is actually the same as the English one. It's Latin alphabet and is used by most European languages. Let's check now the letters of the Italian alphabet. Each of them has its name. Just like in English we have A, B, C, D, etc. But in Italian they are pronounced slightly different. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, I lungo, which means long I, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, which means double V, X, Y, Z. Italian is easy to pronounce and to read. Basically, words are pronounced as they're spelled. There are just a few specific letters and letter combinations which you need to understand and to remember so that you can pronounce words correctly. Let's check them now. When the letter G stands before E or E, it is always pronounced as G or J. But if it stands before A or U or another consonant, it is pronounced as GA, GO, GU. So that's the rule. Now here are some tips to help you remember it. Think of the words GENERO and GIN in English. We have the same rule here. We pronounce them as general and gin because G is followed by E and E. Another way to remember this is the name George. Here we have again the combination of G and E and it's pronounced as J. The equivalent of the name George in Italian is Giorgio, like Giorgio Armani. Here you can see that we have a combination of three letters, G, E, and O. G is followed by E and that's why we pronounce this as Gio. The name Julian in Italian is pronounced the same way but it's spelled as G-E-U, Giulia. This is valid for all words in Italian. If G is followed by E or E, it is pronounced as G or J. If it's followed by A, O or U, it's pronounced as Ga, Go, Gu like gondola, for example. The same rule applies for the letter C. If it's followed by E or E, it's pronounced as C or C. However, when it's followed by A, O or U, it's pronounced as K, Ko, Ku. If you think about the letter C in English, it's pronounced as S when it stands before E or I. For example, center or cinema. But when it's followed by A, O or U, the sound is K, K or Q. Like um, cat, cost, cucumber. So it's the same in Italian, but instead of C or C, we pronounce C and C. For example, the Italian word for center is centro and the Italian word for cinema is cinema. Okay, so what about those words in which we hear the sounds ke, ki, ge, gi? How are they spelled? Actually, if you want to say ke, we will use the letter chi and then the letter h and then e. So chi, h, e and it's pronounced ke, which means what? And if we want to say ki, we should use chi, h, i, ki, which means who, by the way. The letter h is actually never pronounced in Italian. You can see it in some words, but you should always keep it. So, hotel, for example, is hotel in Italian. You don't pronounce the first letter. That's why, in combination with chi, it serves to show that it's pronounced as ke or ki, but it's absolutely wrong to read it as che or chi as you do in English. In order to remember this rule, think of the word chemical in English. We have C-H-E and we read it as ke, chemical, or the word ghetto. We have G followed by a silent H 
and then E. And we read it as ge, ghetto. It's the same in Italian. And if it's G-H-E, it's pronounced as ghi. If it is G-H-E, it's pronounced as ki, like chianti wine. Another specific letter combination is G-L. When G is followed by L, we never pronounce the G. It just makes the L sound softer. For example, Cagliari. Cagliari is the main city of Sardinia. Cagliari. And it's the same with GN. We don't pronounce the G. We just say N. The N sound is softer. Like in Bologna, for example. The last particular thing to remember about Italian pronunciation are double consonants. You will see this very often. When we have a double consonant, it has to be stronger than a single consonant. For example, donna or donna, birra, birra, mama, mamma. You can tell the difference, right? So, these are the basic rules which will help you to be able to read correctly in Italian and to pronounce every new word you encounter.